And the look on her eyes, she just wanted to touch me because I think, because I'm sitting so close to you <laughs> and tell me what it meant to her to watch you sitting where you're sitting. I want to share with you a couple of uplifting and inspiring moments from the confirmation hearing for Judge Ketanji Brown Jackson. Now, so far, there has been a lot of focus on the negative, on all of the bullshit coming from Republicans and correcting that. And that's fine. And that's important work to do. But I also think it's important to highlight some positive moments. I know it doesn't happen very often in news, but I like to occasionally try to do that because this is what I find motivating. You know, I'm not motivated by racist garbage from Ted Cruz's mouth. I'm motivated by hearing hearing stories of, of um, perseverance, inspiration. So that's what I'm going to share today. So first up here, so I got two clips coming up. The first one here is uh, Cory Booker, and the second one, second one is going to be Judge Ketanji Brown-Jackson discussing um, her inspiring words for young Americans that uh, are in the position that she was once in. But first here, Cory Booker. I'm jogging this morning. And I'm at the end of the block I live on. And I get terrified because I put my music on loud when I'm jogging, <laughs> trying to block out the noise of the, of the heart attack I'm having. <laughs> <laughs> and this woman comes up on me, practically tackles me, an African-American woman. And the look on her eyes, she just wanted to touch me because I think because I'm sitting so close to you. <laughs> and tell me what it meant to her to watch you sitting where you're sitting. And you did not get there because of some left-wing agenda? You didn't get here because of some dark money groups? You got here how every black woman in America who's gotten anywhere has done. By being <laughs> like Ginger Rogers said, I did everything Fred Astaire did, but backwards in heels. <laughs> All right, so as I said later, I have a clip coming up where Judge Jackson shares some inspiring words. But before I get there, let's talk about this. So I think this this hits even harder if you've watched any of the bullshit that Republicans have put her through. Trying to attach her to critical race theory, you know, their boogeyman simply because she's black. Questioning her if babies are racist. That was from, from Ted Cruz trying to claim she sympathizes with some of the most heinous crimes imaginable because she simply exercises her judgment as a judge and doesn't always give what the prosecutor asks for, which, by the way, judges rarely do. All this garbage she has gone through, to finally have someone there on her side fighting for her, I loved it. And look, there's issues, of course, you want to, the cynics out there are going to be like, oh, it's a performance, what a, whatever. I... I don't care as long as the message is real and he's there fighting for someone that needs someone on their side in that moment. That's what was so powerful about this. And this is from a, you know, a much longer speech about nine minutes long. So I'll link to that below the video. He, he, so there's, you know, there's a lot more to it, but man, um, it was good to see that and she needed it. And you see there's clips afterwards. Uh, her parents are, are going up to Cory Booker and, and hugging him because I think they understand that she needed that after all the the just the complete crap that Republicans have thrown at her through these uh, these hearings, and I'll, I'll get some more on that later because uh, I'm going to show you the, this this next clip first because look, there's a reason why Jackson is so fantastic and and why she is so inspiring and how she could potentially her nomination here could mean a lot for not just the Supreme Court, but for future generations of, of lawyers and judges. So I'll get to why I think that in a second here. First, this clip. So this is going to be Senator Alex Padilla um, bringing up his experience, and then Judge Jackson shares some inspiring words. When one of my teachers discouraged me from applying to MIT because they didn't want me to be disappointed, I turned that discouragement into motivation. What would you say, Judge Jackson, to all those young Americans, the most diverse generation in our nation's history? What do you say to some of them who may doubt that they can one day achieve the same great heights that you have? Thank you, Senator. Um, that was very moving. 
I will tell them what uh, an anonymous person said to me once. I was walking through Harvard Yard my freshman year. As I mentioned, I went to uh, public school and I didn't know anything about Harvard until um, my debate coach took me there to enter a speech competition and I thought, this is a great university. It was basically one of the only ones I'd seen and I said, maybe I'll apply when I'm a senior. But I get there and whoa, <laughs> so different. I'm from Miami, Florida. Boston is very cold. Um, it was, um, it was rough. It was different from anything I'd known. There were lots of students there who were um, prep school kids like my husband, <laughs> um, who knew all about <laughs> knew all about Harvard, and, and that was not not me. And I think the first semester I was really homesick. I was really questioning, um, do I belong here? Can I, can I make it in this environment? And I was walking through the yard in the evening and a black woman I did not know was passing me on the sidewalk. And she looked at me and I guess she knew how I was feeling. And she leaned over as we crossed and said, persevere. I would tell them to persevere. How can I possibly follow that? Incredible. Amazing moment there. Um, look, the fact that it took till 2022 for the first black woman to be nominated, just nominated to the Supreme Court, proves the barriers that black women face. Look at Congress. Look at who runs companies. Look at who runs society generally. Look at who runs the world. This nomination is inspiring for so many reasons. Now, look, it's one thing if she was more conservative, there'd be reasons to criticize this nomination from my perspective. But Biden, as I've said before, actually went with the most progressive choice he had. That surprised me. That surprised a lot of people. And it's incredible to see this nomination for that reason. So this is what this is why I think this nomination means a lot, a, a lot more than what has been discussed so far. Not only is it about her being the first black woman nominated to the Supreme Court, it's also about the fact that she's actually a good person. This shows young lawyers out there, students in college, shows them that being a good person in this field can pay off. Whether it's her work as a public defender or whether it's her history centering rehabilitation over just pure retribution. That... Uh, People that have operated this way, lawyers, judges that have operated this way, often are not rewarded. Here's finally somebody who is rewarded for doing that. Not to say that, you know, there's others, you know, uh, Sonia Sotomayor, uh, uh, Mayor, also a fantastic justice, but these opportunities are rare. So to see Biden, who is otherwise a fairly conservative Democrat, Pick Katanji Brown Jackson, I think, is a big deal. So, you know, once we get through all this garbage, <laughs> she's actually appointed and on the Supreme Court, that's going to be a fantastic day.